Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. Uh, this is going to be for the week of the 19th to the 25th of June, so let's have a little look and see what is going on for you guys. Alrighty, for Aquarius, wow, there is very big elevation coming up for you guys. If we see the cards, I have to lay it out kind of like in a sort of ladder perspective like that only because it feels like kind of similar to Sagittarius just a little bit where it feels like rejection is redirection and it feels like it's landing you a really good opportunity and in fact it's taking you up much higher whether that means you've been laid off or you know it feels like maybe something that you were in maybe you got fired or you broke up from someone or something stopped something from happening let me pull some more cards. I'm sorry, right? <laughs> Alrighty. Um, Alright, let's see. My neck is starting to hurt in your reading. Some of you might be experiencing some neck pain. Alright. For Aquarius, please. Overall energy for the week. Eight of Pentacles. This feels really good when it comes down to your finances and your career. Okay. Four of Pentacles. And the star. Some of you, you just got to be open. And you may like, okay, so this is really beautiful because you're kind of doubling your success. So that's where I saw this kind of double elevation coming through. You have serendipity and imagine. But before we get to that, we have to understand that we did have the not for you card first, which is a card of being rejected or, you know, something not happening the way that you wanted it to. Usually this is only because either a game was being played or it was never really for you. So it's just not for you. So something else is. And that's all it means. Um, we have the four of pentacles here, which is kind of holding on or holding back. It's a limited um, energy. Maybe you were going towards a job that wasn't really offering much, but you were going to take it because you needed it. But now something better is coming through. Or you're kind of going from this four of pentacles energy of fear, limited energy, like um, limitations, restrictions. And you're going into a much more open energy. The difference between this is not only the fact that it's double. So double the money, double the success. Double the wind falls coming away. Um, but it's also just like a perspective shift. This is like, I have to hold on to it and I have to save this and I have to control everything. And if I don't, then, you know, people are going to do this and that take from me, steal from me, or I'm going to mess up, mess up everything. You know, it's kind of like a not believing in yourself and not believing that good things can happen. So it's like, I must hold on. But because of that, there is no more room to hold on to anything. But the Eight of Pentacles, as you can see, all he's focused on is that one that he's focusing on. The rest he knows is going to be lingering around, you know. Um, so there's this energy of going from lack to abundance, which I love. And that seems to lead towards the star. So if that's something that you've been struggling with, Aquarius, is like maybe a limited mindset um, or fear-based, you know, thinking and um actions. And this is something that you definitely are healing. But do you know how we heal it with a star? vulnerability it actually takes you to dip your toes into something uncomfortable and to really understand something whether it's your emotions and where this might be coming from um but it is definitely you kind of stepping into something and this is very beautiful energy i am picking up one that some of you may the star card is also a very charitable card so some of you might be doing that you might be just giving things away to kind of this is interesting this could be like to deal with maybe some control issues some of you could be like or limitations i kind of feel like you're giving back to people or giving to people and that could even be like delegating for some of you it's like i have to do it because if i don't do it no one else is going to do it you know or no one's going to do it the way i do it and it's going to be terrible you know it's that kind of way of thinking it's caused you to be burdened and limited and you have all these responsibilities now now when you delegate and trust then you have more time and you have more freedom and you have more coming your way. But um, the star card, you could also be giving to, you know, charities at this time. You could be feeling more able to give your energy to. And by the way, the star is, that will come back to you. That's not the reason why you're doing it. It's just, but that is the rule of the universe. When you, what you put out into the world, you get back. 
So if you're feeling inspired to help others, then it definitely is coming through as that. Okay, well, let's see what else is coming here for you. Some of you, it could be an opportunity. Okay, what I'm seeing here is like the not for you could also just be in terms of this. You could be getting an opportunity, but you could actually be rejecting it or not feeling like you have, I don't have the resources for this. I don't have the time for this, but it actually could be a really good opportunity. So this is almost like, two different timelines showing up if you feel like you're limited and then you might miss an opportunity but if you're feeling abundant then you might land in very good luck but it's just a random message coming through okay what's the blockage and challenge please for Aquarius this week two of cups maybe it's something to do with people around you this is coming up as a blockage or challenge so some of you it could be like problems in a relationship or um, collaboration with somebody in, in whatever form Seven of Swords, what? Some of you are finding out that someone has been very manipulative only because <clears throat> we have the magician here. Um, someone may have stumbled on their truth um, or, sorry, stumbled and exposed the truth. Uh, that's because that's what it felt like in my throat just there, which is the throat chakra. It's um, truth, clarity. So somebody may have let something slip, Aquarius, and now you're figuring it out. Um, but this is very good if that's the case, not because of what happened, but because um, not that it would have held you back. For some of you, that is the case. But it feels like you're conquering this energy of like with like holding back. You're actually being asked to be free. If you're freeing yourself from someone who's deceptive, manipulative, for some of you, it is that. And this is a lying, cheating, stealing card, or it's just someone who's self-sabotaging or just sabotaging. It could be selfishness, but it feels like manipulation with the... Um, with the magician there with that combination could be a friend by the way by the way aquarius this is your card star card so you're stepping into your true self you have the imagine card here which is a card of truth clarity it's like the judgment for me so you are seeing the truth of everything and moving up so you're learning lessons you're you're gaining opportunities and this is helping you to reach a different level and it does feel like whatever is being exposed to at this time was never supposed to get to that other level with you because this is low vibrational. If anyone's manipulating, that's very low. And you're in this star energy, which is beautiful. It's healing, it's, it's vulnerability, it's sensitivity, it's good. But we have the five of cups. So yes, this is a disappointment for you. It's going to be a challenge for you to maybe overcome this and to kind of see through the facade, by the way, guys. We have the Seven of Cups here, and as you can see, again, is a mask. It's a card of confusion. Again, a little bit of distortion of reality. Be careful of this. If you're waiting for this person to come back or change, just understand that that might not be very realistic. I mean, they could come back, and they could say they're going to change, but if they're manipulated, they're going to do anything, right? Just pay attention. The Three of Cups says, yeah... You're unhappy right now, let's be honest. This is a big disappointment. It feels like things have spilled in your life, but there is two cups behind you. That means that there is love possible in your life outside of this. You can still build on what you still have left after this disappointment, whatever it is. You know, it feels like, you know, someone betrayed your trust. That's really disappointing. Trust me, I get it. A lot of emotions come through with that. But three of wands is you're waiting for something. And I'm just hoping it's not this person but do what you like but it, we do have not for you coming through and serendipity and imagine so you have bigger better things coming for you aquarius don't feel like you have to hold on to something that is very limited on what it can give you wow well, look at this combination of cause you have the sun and the star and the full all in your reading which really brings in some really incredible things when you like i love that actually because the sun is already behind the full and the clouds are now uh, being removed. So anything that caused any uncertainty is now being removed from your life. You're going to get much clearer on taking a leap of faith and trusting in the universe, which is beautiful because the sun card here is positivity. It's joy. It's freedom. So you're gaining freedom by something being exposed in your relationships. So again, it feels like it's only now that these good serendipitous, <laughs> I made that up, seren, seren, I'm sure there's a word like that, similar, but maybe not how I said it, but like, 
Um, serendipity is about being in the right place at the right time. It seems to be that when this rejection happens or this not for you energy happens, whether it's a breakup, an exposure of something or whatever, this leads you towards an opportunity, towards luck, towards a leap of faith. Maybe you would have rejected this again because you know you had someone in your life who maybe didn't like it or wouldn't have liked it or you felt like you had owed something to. You don't have that anymore. So now you're reaching the sun, which is joy, happiness, spirit as your back, which is very beautiful. Could be love for some of you, but it's just making a choice. And again, there's free will behind that. If you're choosing to hold on to somebody and they're stopping you from being free spirited and you know doing things and for yourself, it's causing you to withhold, hold on, um, then it could block your blessings quite literally. Only because... I always say nothing can block your blessings apart from yourself, you know, and your way of thinking. I'm just going to pull one of these cards. Let me just see the advice then. Actually, I think the fool and the sun was advice. This is pay attention to what you give your time and energy to. The six of um, pentacles is great for work. It's great for health. It's great for, you know, your personal, um, your daily life. It's sixth house energy, Virgo energy. It could be getting money in your career, by the way. You definitely could be improving your finances, you're bringing balance into your life. But Six of Pentacles usually also has somebody here who actually has something in their pocket already and is still begging for more um, when they don't really need it. And then there's somebody who actually does need it. So it's kind of like somebody stealing opportunities, people being greedy, or again, people cheating the system. So again, just pay attention to what you give your energy to. You're either giving to you or you're giving to somebody who's trying to take from you. So it is just what it is. Anyway, Aquarius. A keyword, please, for Aquarius. Courage. Leo had this. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And again, facing fear, this is this. Sometimes it's very hard to let go of the need to control something or to allow something to unfold naturally but if you see this what is divinely yours will stay in your orbit all right it will be gravitating around you what is not for you will always be pulling away so if someone's trying to pull away or threatening to pull away let them my goodness that's manipulation someone is demanding you to chase after them when they might not be doing anything back you could be fearful like if i let go of this this person is just gonna leave me but maybe that's for the best you know, if you have to hold on so tightly that you don't have anything else left for yourself because of somebody else, it's probably not the right thing. So there's a little bit of a truth bomb coming through for you with the Knight of Swords, okay? Um, but it takes courage to face fear with confidence. But you're going to do it anyway, or at least those who I'm reading for it. There's a chance to do it the right way. It's up to you. It's free will. We have bird perch. This says waiting for news package letter. You could be waiting again for this person or any kind of news. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. Maybe that's somebody else. Maybe that's you. All right. Um, we have the moon changes in your life. Again, those clouds are clearing away. You're getting much clearer. We have handshake. Meeting with a stranger could be important. That could be that serendipity. You could be finding someone who's really going to help you. Moving forward, that could be new love, new friendships. It could be people who's going to help you in terms of your career. All right, help you heal. Okay, there's just a lot coming through for you when it comes down to it. All righty. Well, Aquarius, I love you guys. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate you all. Um, I hope this helped in some way, and I hope to see you guys next time. All right.